Warren Buffett, How to Make Millions with Little Money. Watch this if you're young. Warren Buffett is one of the most famous billionaires in the world, with good reason. He's a very impressive man, and before that, he was a very impressive young man. Buffett earned a staggering $53,000 by the time he was 16. How did he accomplish that feat? Today we're going to talk all about how Warren Buffett made money at a very young age. So watch this video till the end, because today's video is going to be the bomb. Welcome to Investor Secret, your daily dose of wealth secrets. If you're interested in everything around big investors and their investment techniques, this is the place for you. Subscribe if you want to stay updated with all the investor secrets, predictions, and stay one step ahead in the financial world. Watch the video till the end and make sure to hit the like button if you want to be a millionaire within the next three years. Don't forget to enable all notifications to join our weekly cash giveaway pinned in the comments. Now let's get to our topic. If you want to be as rich as Warren Buffett, don't wait to get started. That's the advice that the investing titan shared in 1999 at Berkshire Hathaway's annual shareholders meeting when asked how to make $30 billion, which was roughly his net worth at the time. The then 68-year-old Buffett, whose fortune has since grown to more than $100 billion, said that compound interest is an investor's best friend, and compared building wealth through interest to rolling a snowball down a hill. Start early, Buffett said. I started building this little snowball at the top of a very long hill. The trick to have a very long hill is either starting very young or living to be very old. The Oracle of Omaha said that if he were graduating from a college in 1999 and had $10,000 to invest, he would be strategic about choosing where to put his money. I probably would focus on smaller companies because I would be working with smaller sums, and there's more chance that something is overlooked in that arena," Buffett explained, saying he would start examining companies alphabetically and work his way from there. Investors, Buffett explained, need to fend for themselves and rely on their own knowledge and intuition when searching for promising businesses to invest in. He added that savvy investors would do best to learn what you know and what you don't and act very vigorously when they see something they consider to be a good opportunity. You can't look around for people to agree with you, Buffett said of putting money into an investment. You can't look around for people to even know what you're talking about. That said, Buffett is also a staunch supporter of index funds which hold every stock in an index, making them automatically diversified. To build wealth, investors should consistently buy an S&P 500 low-cost index fund, Buffett said in 2017. Keep buying it through thick and thin, and especially through thin. Still, Buffett said that aspiring to make $30 billion is unnecessary, and recently said that the size of his fortune is incomprehensible. The money makes very little difference after a moderate level, he said. He continued, if you asked me to trade away a very significant percentage of my net worth, either for some extra years on my life, or being able to do during those years what I want to do, I'd do it in a second. If you want to invest like Warren Buffett, you don't need to do anything extraordinary. In fact, many new investors are surprised at just how uncomplicated the Oracle of Omaha's investment style is. To sum it up in one sentence, Buffett invests in great businesses trading for less than their intrinsic values and then he holds on to these investments for as long as they remain great businesses. Obviously, there's more to the story than that. Obviously, there's more to the story than that. In this article, we'll dig a little deeper into Buffett's investment style, provide some real-world examples of how he's implemented his investment philosophy, and list the actual stocks he does and doesn't invest in. Warren Buffett's investing philosophy in eight steps. Much of Buffett's investment process is proprietary, so we don't know exactly how he researches investments. These are some of the most important Buffett investing principles that you can incorporate into your own investing strategies. Number one, look for a margin of safety. Prioritizing a margin of safety is a cornerstone of Buffett's investment philosophy. In simple terms, a margin of safety refers to characteristics of an investment that help to protect investors from losing money. For example, if a stock trades for $10 per share, but that company's assets are realistically worth $12 per share, then there's a $2 margin of safety. The intrinsic value of the assets should prevent the company's stock price from declining too significantly. Number two, focus on quality. Warren Buffett doesn't invest in junk. You typically won't see him buying struggling businesses, regardless of how cheap they become. One of the best Buffett quotes new investors can absorb is, it's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. Number three, don't follow the crowd. Here's another piece of Buffett advice that is extremely important for beginner investors, 
especially in the modern age of Reddit message boards. Don't buy certain stocks just because everyone else is, but also do not aim to always be a contrarian and sell the stocks that everyone else is buying. As Buffett does, the best way to invest is to ignore the crowd entirely and focus on finding value on your own. Number four, don't fear market crashes and corrections. The obvious goal of stock investing is to buy low and sell high, but human nature can compel us to do the exact opposite. When we see all of our friends making money, that's when we feel like we should put our money in. And when stock markets crash, it's our nature to get out before prices drop any further. Number five, approach your investments with a long-term mindset. One of the most important Warren Buffett quotes on investing you can absorb is, if you aren't willing to own a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. He doesn't choose stocks just because he thinks their prices are going to rise this week, this month, or even this year. Buffett buys stocks because he wants to own those businesses for the long term. He still sells stocks frequently and for a variety of reasons, but approaches most of his investments with the mindset of owning them forever. And if you can't get into a forever mentality with your stocks, Buffett has called a set it and forget it investment like an S&P 500 index fund, the best investment most people can make. Number six, don't be afraid to sell if the scenario changes. A famous Warren Buffett quote from when he was asked about an investment he decided to sell at a loss, the most important thing to do if you find yourself in a hole is to stop digging. While he certainly wants to own every stock he buys forever, the reality is that outlooks change. It might surprise you to learn that a couple of decades ago, Buffett bought a large position in mortgage agency Freddie Mac. A few years before the financial crisis, he noticed the lender's management had started to take unnecessary risk with the company's capital and decided to sell. A few years later, when the financial crisis hit, it became clear that Buffett had made a smart move. Number seven, learn the basics of value investing. Warren Buffett is widely considered to be the world's greatest value investor. Value investing prioritizes paying low prices for investments relative to their intrinsic values. A value investor's goal is essentially to buy $100 worth of a company's stock for less than $100, ideally much less. Value investors seek out and invest in companies with intrinsic values that are well above the enterprise values implied by the prices at which the company's stocks trade. Value investors like Buffett expect that the market will eventually recognize the full value of a currently undervalued company, resulting in an increase in the company's stock price and a profit for the value investor. Number eight, research and reflect. Buffett regularly spends long days in his office in Omaha, Nebraska. But it often surprises investors to learn that he spends the majority of his time just sitting alone and reading, or not doing anything at all. As he has been quoted as saying, I insist on a lot of time being spent, almost every day, to just sit and think. Buffett views knowledge as something that compounds over time, and he believes that much of his success can be attributed to the accumulation of as much investment knowledge as possible. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. Also, we would like to mention that this is not a channel intended specifically to provide financial advice, and we do not ask you to invest in any company. This is merely a channel directed towards bringing educational content to your doorsteps. With that in mind, before you invest in anything, we recommend you do thorough, wide-spectrum research on the topic. And make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time on Investor Secret. Bye!